Hi there. This video will explain how to composite together multiple smaller compositions in After Effects into one main composition, as well as how to render out a video using Adobe Media Encoder. So previously, I have a couple of smaller independent individual compositions. A ball bounce. I have a cube bounce. And then I have um, a third composition of a ball and a cube interacting with each other and other objects. Okay, so I also have a main composition. And what I'm going to do is drag in these individual compositions directly into the main composition. So there's my ball bounce. I'm going to drag that into the kind of layers area, not the composition itself, but the layers area. And then I'll drag it directly in. The cube bounce, I'm going to drag that one in as well and then the uh, complex motion bounce. Let's drag that in. So I have three animations. Um, as you notice, it doesn't pull in a background, but if I play, it'll play them one on top of each other. They're overlapping each other, so what I'm gonna do is move them apart. Uh, we're gonna adjust the timeline as well, so we're gonna go to composition settings. And then we will increase this to 12 seconds. Uh, There's an easy way to adjust the timeline of the composition. And let's zoom out. So my overall timeline, I uh, have a couple of layers that are visible the whole time and some that are only visible for part of the time as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is narrow down some of the motion here and uh, repeat some of these layers so that way they uh, loop throughout the whole timeline. Uh, one thing I want to do is uh, I need to re reduce the time for the ball bounce. So we've got a ball bounce composition. We'll go to the composition settings again, and let's just reduce that down to something smaller, like six. There you go. All right. So that way, uh, they're all six seconds in length, and then now I can kind of adjust the position and everything. So before I do anything else, I'm going to take a second of all bounce. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to scale that down. I'm going to hold down the shift key, and that's going to go up here in the top right corner, maybe a little larger. There we go. And then I'm going to find my cube bounce. We'll scale the cube down. That's going to go in the top left corner. And I'm just going to zoom back out so I can make sure nothing is kind of clipping or anything. And then my last one, I'm going to scale this one down. It's going to go kind of in the middle here. Put that one down there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate uh, my anticipation uh, layer, which is going to be my kind of my full. Uh, bottom animation. That's six seconds, so that's going to duplicate you know, pretty perfectly down to 12 seconds. So let's hit Control C and Control V. I'm going to select the bottom layer, and in the timeline, I'm going to left click and drag and kind of move that over. So that'll snap. I'm going to zoom in there. Just move my time to six seconds and zoom in just to make sure there's no gaps. Okay. And then I'm going to go back, and my cube and ball bounce are actually just three seconds. Both of them kind of stop their motion at three seconds. So I can take my cube bounce and drag the timeline that's on the right side in. That's just kind of wasted space to the three second mark. And same thing here, this is all kind of wasted space. So go back to three seconds and I'm gonna drag the ball bounce in with three seconds as well. So that way I can duplicate the cube and ball bounce both four times repeat four times and it should line up to 12 seconds as well. So at the beginning I was going to create all these individual compositions. I uh, wanted a good increment so I used 3, 6, and 12 seconds for all those. So for the cube bounce let's just duplicate and I'm going to move that over just like I did for the other one. I'm going to zoom in to make sure that we're not overlapping but it is uh, repeating properly. There you go. And we will copy and paste again. Move that there. We'll go to six seconds. That'll work. And then we will copy paste. And do the same thing for the last section here. It's a little more than three seconds each time. That's okay. There you go. All right, so there's uh, my Q bounce duplicated. I'm going to copy and paste my ball bounce as well, so Control-C, Control-V. And we'll do the same thing. We'll move it over here 
Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Let's leave that one there. We'll move the bottom one. There it goes. So we'll scale all the way back out and we'll play. So I have all three different animations run at the same time. They're all repeating and they'll all stop and end after 12 seconds here. There we go. All right, so there's finishing my composition. And the last thing I'm going to do is now render this out. Uh, that's saving the movie out from After Effects so that I can access it anywhere else. So I'll just save it to my same location as where my project folder is. But to do that, I'm going to make sure let's just save our project. So File, Save. And then in my composition, let's go to Composition, uh, Add to Adobe Media Encoder. All right, so with Adobe Media Encoder, uh, this sends our file to this uh, separate window that allows to render it out in a very specific way. We have a lot more compression settings. We have a lot more file types that we can save out as instead of the default After Effects. So we are going to keep with the MP4 and H.264, but this is the compression. So if I go over to the left, it says uh, H.264. You can open that up and change the compression settings. I'm just going to keep with, keep with H.264 because it's a good compression but keeps really good quality. Uh, we can change the format up here to any other kind of compression format if you want to. Here's where we can also make our adjustments to the video and audio. Uh, here is where we're going to change the name as well. So if I change the output name, uh, this is where I'm saving this to. So I'm just going to back up one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put it right there. Okay. And I'm going to call it... Um, Let's see, simple object animation. That's fine for right now. This is saved as an MP4. I can also change video audio settings if I want to, but this is where we can change our compression and audio compression settings as well. All right, I'm going to do match source, which should have the same 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Uh, you can also change the location and the file name right here under the output file. It'll change the same exact uh, setting. And then what we're going to do next is just hit the play symbol. And now we're just going to wait for this to render out uh, our timeline. It's going to play through our timeline, and it shows me my elapsed time and time remaining. And it's going to show me um, a preview down here. And we'll come back and look at it in a second. And depending on how long it might take, uh, it might take a couple minutes to longer to complete that. This isn't going to take long, so this is only 12 seconds. There we go, so I finished that. So let's go into our folder. I think it's under this one. Yep, there's our video file. So it's about a two meg file. There's our video. One thing I did want to point out is that we did not have a background already created. So basically it created a black background for me. Um, but there's our video, it's a good quality video. It'll play and loop that 12 seconds. So the only thing I would probably want to change is come back into After Effects and just add a custom background to it. So let's just do uh, layer new. I'm in my main composition, layer new and solid. And then uh, let's just put a little bit darker of a gray, maybe a little bit of an orange to it. There you go. All right, and let's drag that to the bottom. There you go. So now it's going to render with this background on there. Okay. The shadow is a little bit harder to see, so I might. Uh, let's put a different one on there with a lighter lighter background so I can see that. All right, there we go. There we go, so I can see my shadow pretty good now. So I might want to just re-render this out uh, with the gray background on there if I wanted a gray background. Uh, let's just go back and save it as two. There we go. So that's one thing to note. I just hit render, let it run. Is that if you don't have a background on there, uh, a background layer, a solid layer, then it's just going to render a black background. Now it's going to render out, you can see in the preview down here, it's going to render out that gray background. 
and we'll be able to visually see the difference in the final video as well. So this type of animation like this, only 12 seconds, it's not going to take too long to render this out. But that's the full render process. We'll open up our video again and watch the last one. Now we have the background on here. Shadows are pretty easy to see. All right, so that finishes up compositing multiple smaller compositions together into one clip and then how to render out using uh, After Effects and the Adobe Encoder. All right, that'll wrap up this video.